Hi, Rick here, creator and indeed all things of the Splendid Photography Explained podcast. In this video, I'm going to talk about the answery bit for episode 180, which is how to use your camera settings to take better photos. And here is the answery bit. There are many settings that we can change in cameras and lenses too. These settings will change depending on what you're taking a photo of and the ambient light levels. I could have worded that better to be honest with you. <laughs> oh well. With the correct camera settings, we can take better photos. That is why our cameras have all those settings. Well then, there you go. That was the answer a bit and I just realised I am still wearing my headphones so... Off with them, I don't need them. Right then, so what am I talking about? Well, camera settings. I spent a long time sort of baffled and bewildered by by the, the plethora of camera settings that, that we have to navigate through. So what I did some time ago was I did three episodes where I broke this down into three different categories. Episode 101 was things that you can set and forget. Episode 102, things you might change when out taking photos. And episode 103 was the things that you set for each photo you take. Now, breaking that down into those three things, I found that really useful. And this came about from me actually sitting down with my Canon 6D and reading the manual. Yes, we sat down together, my camera and my manual on the desk, and I went through it from start to end. And do you know what? I found out all sorts of stuff that I didn't know. The camera was making corrections and adjustments that I didn't want it to do, so I turned a lot of those off. And there were things that I did want it to do that I didn't know it did. So it's really, really important that you do this. You need to learn how to use your camera because if you don't know what the camera settings are and what and what options you got within your camera, you can't use your camera to its full ability. So you're sort of wasting your money if you don't do this, aren't you? Okay, so those three episodes there, I'm not going to go through all that again because none of us need that feel free to go back and listen to them. They're only 11, 12 minutes long because back then I did much shorter episodes than my 30 to 40 minute epics which I seem to be churning out at the moment. But what I do cover in episode 180 are these things. We've got the main camera settings for exposure which are aperture, shutter speed and ISO of course and I talk about ISO quite a bit in this because I don't change the ISO. There you go. Spoiler for you. RAW or JPEG, which picture taking format, or as Canon call it, which quality setting do you use? Picture taking modes, loads of those aren't there? White balance, manual mode, autofocus, drive modes, live view, auto bracketing, metering modes, and then there's some lens related stuff too. We've got focal lens, we've got image stabilization, and then I've got tripods at the end there, yes, Tripods. My tripod helps me to take better photos and I keep on banging on about this but it really does and I'm going to explain to you yet again why. Okay, so we've got aperture shutter speed and ISO. Don't need to go through all those again. In fact, I don't need to go through any of those subheadings. Check out the podcast for those. But the thing that I do do in this episode is I tell you what do I do. Now I go through all those things that I list in and I tell you exactly what I do. Now I can't tell you what you do because I don't know what camera you've got. I don't know what lens you've got. I don't know what you like taking photographs of. And I don't know if you're as sad and predictable as me. So I tell you what I do, which gives you a starting point. At least you know what I do. And you can start from there, not saying do what I do, far from it but work out how these settings work for you. Okay, I think that'll do me for now. That was the answer a bit plus a bit. So please check out episode 180 of the Photography Explained podcast, how to use your camera settings to take better photos. It's available at all good podcast providers. Of course it is. And there's also the Photography Explained podcast website, photographyexplainedpodcast.com. Yes, really. <laughs> and if you go to the website, you can listen to any of the episodes, you can read the scripts, you can find out more about the podcast. There's a page where I list out all the possible things that I can think of that I could answer on the podcast. So if there's something on there that you'd like me to answer, just let me know. 
obviously on the website I'll, I'll tell you how to get in touch with me and also there's a form that you can fill in and you can get an email from me every Friday what is not to love eh yes a nice email every Friday afternoon 3 p.m time where I'm sat how utterly splendid right I am done thank you for watching take care I hope you enjoy my podcast get in touch with any questions be loved to hear from you and I'll say bye for now take care cheers from me Rick